Yeah. We'll wait for a while. He's here. Eric, you rolling? Okay. Page it's missing, it goes on the back. Oh, it does? Okay. Doesn't change the front page or nothing. It's just right. when I went through what was in there. And this is not a cool type, correct? Mm -hmm. No. It's a participation type. Okay. If, the, if the group does good, you can get a dividend, which they've been paying which dividends. you've done in the past. Missing page. <laughs> Doesn't change anything on the front. Missing page. So I don't know how you guys are doing this today, whether you're just opening bids and make a decision and we come back later and explain. If you've got you can go through a forty five minute of bidding process, it's kinda of up to you. We're gonna look at the numbers. Course, yep. and, then kind of and this was missing, you said? That, it's a black page. Do you have just one copy? or? No, it would be the third page in. It should be the third page in, but I missed it on Friday. doesn't change the front page. It's does not change the front page. Nope. And if you want one with it already stapled in, you can have one. I brought extras. So the deductible for um, windstorm and hail is ten thousand. Yes. Okay. That's what we went to years ago. They're designed to operate cheaper than we operate. There's no doubt about that. But when your local oh, people yeah, can be competitive, don't work, they don't work. <coughs> we also put you get tax dollars into your tax mill. We donate to the museums, the pools, the school systems, the 4-H, the premium sales. One thing about out-of-town business doesn't recycle. And this has got every every vehicle, every building. Our property values are a little different, but they are what we feel is adequate. Okay. And they're on a stated amount, so they have to, so like they have to Did you have any questions for me? Uh, no, you, you stated that it doesn't uh, change anything on this. No. And the monthly premium would be twenty two thousand six thirty six. No, no, that's just that's just one of the sections. See. If you, that same 22 is on the front page. Oh, okay. So when you get inside of it, at the beginning of each different section is the same state premium. That's what. That's a one-year premium. It's a one-year premium. Subject to audit. Okay.
keep that copy. I'll get you that. Okay. And then there's your number for a month. Eight thousand. We usually pay that premium in January. Yeah. It's it isn't paid monthly. It's paid annually. Okay. Yeah. There you go. So you don't have to worry about it. So. I don't have any other questions. I, just I don't have any other questions. Okay. So you, no. right. you want to talk to the other? Yeah, we'll talk to the other one. Yeah. We'll stay around. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Come on, we'll come back in. Thank you. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Give you the, the big card. Now, this is only for liability, correct? No, that should be your work comp and liability is, is all in there. Yeah, you look at the front page, it shows all the different sections on the I have not seen that document, so... Okay, I'm, all right. Right. Thank you. Because it was, it was... Okay. Rodney, Deb would like to look at that. Do you have that third page as well? You have an extra copy, Kelly. Let's give them that. Shuffling paper. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to this, all this computer stuff when you didn't have to shuffle paper anymore? <laughs> <laughs> what they told us, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> well, good morning. I'm Carl Eyman. Good morning. Uh, Mary Anderson's with us from, from okay. K Camp. So. Let me go through the work comp for you real quick first, because it's the simplest part of this. And then we'll let Mary go through the package for you. Uh, first page is the letter of greeting, and then of course the Board of Trustees. This is, this is one of the few organizations, gentlemen, where you can actually have direct contact with the management of this operation. In fact, you can sit on the board if you want to sit on the board. We do elections every year at KAC at the annual meeting. Uh, we have seven members on our boards, both of them do, and uh, we uh, either reappoint or re elect new members uh, three one year for the next. Mm -hmm. You have direct contact with one of the trustees. We, uh, the way the K-Camp, the K-Work uh, pool is set up, we have a trustee in each one of the road districts. And uh, Stan McAvoy is your representative for up here in the panel. So, give you a list of the trustees if you want to call and talk to them. And then behind the uh, list of trustees is the actual bid for the work comp proposed part of this bid. Yep. So on the back you'll get into our claim services. I think you had a, a conversation with our claims uh, ladies not too long ago mm -hmm. about a claims problem. I hope that went well. I think so. Yeah. That's good. And that's, here again, you have direct access to the claims people. If you have a question on a claim, yeah. you just set it up and have them call you. We like to do that in the executive session because that way they can get deeper into the claim. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and so nobody's uh, compromised. Loss prevention services on, on behind that, and of course uh, we do all kinds of uh, loss prevention uh, inspections, uh, CBO classes for EMS. In fact, we got your uh, EMS director uh, set up so he can do the CBO classes himself last year. So that's that's part of what we do. And we have online classes 
and both KK and K work had that, where you law enforcement you get part of their forty hours and never leave their office. Mm -hmm. yeah. and of course, Does the participation in the online classes help reduce our premium? Anything that you do, your uh, safety committees, anything like that, we look at monthly. And, uh, and we get a report monthly, and when we look at that, we have an underwriting uh, program we go through, and depending on what's being done in the county, they get credit for that. Okay. So yes, it does in the long run. So we just went through with the Kansas Department of Labor a safety inspection mm -hmm. and, and updated lots of things. Will that somehow when we trickle do, down? When we do our inspections, uh, how they're handled here, and we've had good response from everybody here as far as taking care of the eight little problems. Mm -hmm. And of course, we knew about the KDOT, uh, the Kansas Department of Labor inspection, right. and all that works into it too. It's okay. part of the underwriting process. Okay. Um, back page gives you a membership, right? Current membership, and uh, currently we got 74 county members and and uh, several other entities involved. So, including the recycling center down here at Colby, mm -hmm. it's part of the K work. Okay. Questions about K work? Mm, no. This is the simple part. Mary, you get to do the hard part. Um, well, it's a pleasure to meet you all. I'm Mary Anderson, I'm the risk manager. Can you speak up, please? I apologize. I'm Mary Anderson, I'm the risk manager for KPM. Uh, okay. David Luke couldn't make it today. He, he apologizes, but if he has any, if you have any questions that I can't answer, I'm happy to get him on the phone. But um, I've provided to you um, the proposal, um, and the premium is on the last page if you're looking for that. But I kind of wanted to go over what we were able to bring. To the table when you first um, came on board with Kate Camp, I provide you with this list of um, enhancements. Um, we were able to add coverages that you previously didn't have, like crime and cyber liability, and cyber was at no additional premium. Um, we also increased um, program limits um, in terms of the liability um, for the non KTCA claims from 1 million to 3 million, and removed annual aggregates. We also reduced a lot. gives $2,000 annually to uh, fund any sort of project or purchase that will assist in mitigating any losses or preventing any losses. So that's $2,000 back in your pocket. Have they, have they used that? You know, um, yeah. They haven't used it this year, but they have used it. They Has Brian Murray it. contacted you? No. Okay. He, he is our uh, emergency management director, and he is interested in using that. Okay. And so I just, perfect. Uh, I sent him the application form, but I didn't know whether you two had got hooked up yet. Or not. Mm -hmm. Ryan Murray. Mm -hmm. Okay.
So just so um, that's one great thing about pools is we have great rate stabilization. Um, just because you have a claim, and actually I have a claim check for you guys um, for a long time. I'll give that to you. Um, you guys had a very large hail claim mm -hmm. loss, like eighty thousand dollar hail claim loss, um, but your rates have stayed the same. Okay. Commercially, typically you'll see rates go up um, due to losses. So that's one great thing about about the pool. What is the all inclusive cost of premium for everything? It's your favorite. Mine is 76. Yeah. 76. 76, okay. It should be in the packet, isn't it? I have two items. It's um, on the proposed actual proposal. Oh, okay. It's the last page. Last page. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. And what was your part? The 31. So we'd add those two together. Yeah, the little package, yeah. Okay. What was it? 31. 1, 2, 2, 4. Okay. All right. So basically, we add these two numbers together, we'll get your total price. That's your package policy. Okay. Really, yeah. Right. Being, being separate pools, uh, we've worked together since the beginning. Okay. And so, but there are there are two separate pools. Okay. You have any more questions for them? This is kind of hard to uh, compare to the other insurance. Uh, you don't give a total for both workman's comp and your liability in here, do you? That's right here. Did you get that's, that's the that's okay. the that's the bottom dollar. That's the bottom dollar. Okay. And that was on. You just had the it's last yeah, page. Yeah, both together. So. Oh, okay. okay. All right. The package is here at the bottom of that report. Or you just add the work comp into it. Okay, so this would be 76 plus the work on comp. Okay, yeah, I, I jotted that down elsewhere. But okay. okay, that's what I was looking for. All right. Okay. okay. Let's any questions? No, you went through pretty good. So, did you have any questions? Ed? No, I didn't have any. Rodney? You have, it's not a question, but it's more a statement. Uh, you're providing us with some more benefits than the other proposal. Uh, benefits like uh, the, uh, uh, for the road and bridge, for their, for their over-the-road drivers. Do you want to do defensive driving? Yeah, defensive driving. Mm -hmm. I do I did CBO classes for the for the emergency preparedness people, and which is coaching emergency <coughs> vehicle operators last okay. year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did quickly look at that. Uh, are we going to try to make a decision today? Um, I would like to have them come up to uh, Kelly and Roxy come up and get a little bit more in detail on their, their policy, too, before we make a decision. Okay. Can you stick around? You can. Okay. okay. So what did you come up with with a total for the... Came up with what? 107? 107. Yeah. Did I get night on? Yeah. I don't know. We didn't get a chance to go over Right. Sure Let's be clear. Yes. <laughs> Our property deductible is five thousand on all losses except wind and hail. It's ten. You're on the second page. Yeah, that's the, the extra page. Oh, this is extra. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Right in the middle. Um, 
Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. 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 And we do have crime, and we do have cyber. Okay, they crime said and they, cyber. They did not do okay, crime and cyber. Okay, crime and cyber. My copy went to the clerk. No, I'm out of copy, so. But you can see we have some cyber, we have some cyber coverages in there now, mm -hmm. and we have some crime coverages in there now. Now, yeah. you can debate forever and ever who's got this coverage, who's got that coverage. <clears throat> Just like when we went through this two years ago, mm -hmm. when our policy was out there and they bid, who was offering this and who was offering that. AMC does provide a lot of um, the support services, you know, the law, the law. We should have brought our whistles and bells yeah. sheet up, but we didn't bring it up. Any of that. Yeah, that's the most to do. Let him try to make a sale. Well, I didn't. Last I knew, I was just going to bring up and put it in a sealed bid and walk out. I didn't know we were going to sit and go through it. Well, we, it wouldn't take long to get all that and bring it up here. Well, we can. But whistles and bells are provided by both. I mean, when they give legal advice, where the attorney can call in and get an hour's free legal. Or comp has online. Um, videos they can get in and do. Our claims people come out and do safety, you know. Safety it's available classes. to you if you want it. All right. Um, they but as we property values. Okay. We'll get a whistles and bell sheet and get it up here to you. Okay. We can make a decision later after we see that. Now, one thing that they do, don't do that we do do is you're in a dividend group. If the group has a successful year, you get the dividend back. I think the last year you were in here, the dividend check was eighty nine hundred dollars. The year before that it was twenty. It was either twenty five or thirty five thousand. Thirty five thousand. It was huge. There was a couple years that there was no dividend paid back mm -hmm. due to storms across the state. So. And your price is your price. There's no assessing the if there's a bad Okay. I know I myself would like to read both of these and contemplate on just a little bit. Uh, are you okay with that? Actually, I am, but I'd like to have you bring your, your, your sheet up that you're talking about. So yeah. we have a, we'll go get our whistles and bell sheet and bring and it up then, here later this morning. And then maybe we can make a decision. Can, do a, can we make a, Nicole, can we make a decision next meeting? Are we under a deadline on yeah. the STEM? I think so. When is it? Today. Today. Okay. <laughs> I, yeah, I was pretty sure uh -huh. that was the case. Yeah. Okay. So, no. We have it, we'll have it up here within an hour. Okay. And then we'll When's just, your next break? Whenever we want. Oh, okay. So. Um, um, I noticed on camp, on new equipment, we can put up to like 250000 and there will be no premium change. How does that, uh, if we put in new equipment in here and it has to be covered, do you increase the premium because of the new equipment? Yes. You do. Ours is a schedule. Difference between a, their reporting and our reporting is they report once a year. So if you take something off next year, they pick it up, I assume they pick it up when they report again. With us on the scheduled equipment, <clears throat> as you buy equipment, you report it to us. As you get rid of it, you report it to us. The way it's set up, there's no endorsement down. They, they notify us, notify KCAP about the change, it goes on the schedule. No additional premium for that year. It doesn't need to go on to the next to the next anniversary date. As right. As as and same thing with getting rid of the equipment. If they get rid of a couple hundred thousand dollars of the equipment. How many, how many times do they get rid of four hundred thousand dollars through the equipment decision? That's true. They add four hundred thousand dollars, they don't get rid of it. That's true. But the point is, if they did, it would be reflected one year from the yes, next reporting period. Why don't you uh, get your sheet up to this, and yeah. then we'll go into an executive session and look at it, and then we'll make a decision. Very good. Okay, what do you want to do? I'm going to have him go get his sheet, and then we'll go in either executive session or we'll just take. We're going to pick these apart. And yep. Why? Under know. what basis would you go into yeah, executive well, session? Yeah. Well, we don't have to go into executive. Okay. Session. Yeah, I don't think there's okay. probably I don't think a legal we can. basis. I just want to. 
I want to compare apples to apples and oranges and oranges, so I want to see what you've got there. If you'd like a little time alone, we'll grant that to you. Okay? We'll go get our stuff and come back. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay. But we're going to have to go through the commercial <coughs> proposal to compare it to the KWORKS proposal, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Thank you. We'll be back. Um, you may want to church plan if you decide to go with EMC um, if they have prior acts coverage um, because you have several like law enforcement liability public officials um, um, E&O mm -hmm. um, and I believe it's I could interject on it's that. the employee benefits in cyber um, we have an extended reporting period it kind of works like a tail coverage. Um, those are claims made, which means um, any claims that arise during the time that we were, you know, writing your program, mm -hmm. um, we want to make sure you have coverage for that. So um, if they have prior acts, then that's great. But if you need to purchase the extended reporting period, that would be fine. I think you can tell them that you know that we do have prior acts. Just okay. like you okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh boy, we gotta look through stuff fast. Give us a little. Okay. I want to look. I want to. want to make the best decision for the county. <laughs> Do you want to start doing the cost down between the two, or do we want to do we want to follow our agenda and then come back to this? We can. Carol, how long are you going to need? Five minutes. Okay, we'll move on to Carol, then we'll come back to this. All right. Has almost everything ready, so. He was reaching out farther, Ed. <laughs> I'm a guess. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> um, so last time we talked about some of the policies for the public transportation mm -hmm. um, program uh, that need to get created. Um, First was the anti-drug um, and alcohol misuse prevention policy, mm -hmm. and um, I chatted with Nicole, and she does not have any issues with that as it stands. That's correct. So we have a resolution for you guys to adopt that. Um, the next item is the Title VI documents. Um, we need the language assistance plan, um, Title VI complaint procedure, and a public notice approved. Um, and again, our attorney has reviewed those and has no issues with the language in those. <clears throat> we need to have the job description reviewed and approved um, prior to November 15th when we start. Um, we did, Rodney had a concern last time about um, wanting the um, status of the employee to be mm -hmm. part time temporary. And Nicole, do you want to? Uh, thank you for the email. Sure. Yeah, I yeah. discussed that yeah. with Rodney yeah. Yeah. and I. Okay don't think that it will not work okay. with the way the definition works. So, so it would be a full-time Well, well it's, it's not full-time, part it's part-time, part but it's not part-time part temporary. temporary. Okay. It's See, part there is a okay. distinction gotcha, there. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Um, so if you guys want to adopt that job description today, uh, you can. Otherwise, you still have okay. till November 15th that we need to do that. Um, so need that in a motion then? Yeah. Rodney, you want to make a motion? Okay. Yeah, I'll make a motion that we approve the job description for the transportation program driver. Second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. 
Okay. Do you want to go back real quick, Deb? Do you have the resolution for the drug and alcohol misuse prevention policy? We might as well run down and this, I think so. Get them all done. Yeah. Okay. And that was Karen's <coughs> language verbatim. Nothing had been changed. So Nicole's saying this. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. No problems. No. Okay. And you'll need to make a motion to adopt oh, that resolution like, number. Yeah, uh, yes. Each one of these need to be adopted by resolution. Okay, or go ahead and make a motion. Uh, you want me to do this or you got to Approving the resolution. I don't care one way or another. I make a motion we accept the anti drug and alcohol misuse prevention program for the public transportation. Okay. I'll second the motion. All and those in favor? Can you state the resolution number so I'll the paper has that? Number 16 23. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. 16 23. 23. 23? Okay. Yes, 1623. Did I hear two eyes on that? Aye, aye, aye. aye. Okay. Okay, and the next one is the Limited English Proficiency Plan. And this is part of the Title VI requirements. That one's 1624. Okay, we need a motion yeah, on that well, one. Well, you can do it so All Karen right. can hear. <laughs> ah. Either that or she could just come up here close. Okay, I'll make a motion that we approve resolution number 16-24, Limited English Proficiency Plan, Cheyenne County Public Transportation Program. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Okay. okay. And next would be the Title VI complaint procedure. Again, our attorney has reviewed that. Okay. I'll make a motion that we approve resolution number 16-25, Title VI Compliant Procedure, Cheyenne County Public Transportation Program. Second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Okay. And I need you guys to authorize me to um, post our public notice regarding those two policies on our website and also to annually post those in the newspaper for the Title VI requirements. I thought we gave that approval last meeting, didn't we? That was for advertising for the positions. Oh, okay. This is advertising the public notice regarding Title VI compliance. Which okay. is a and that has to be published law. in the it's, paper. Yeah. Yeah. That just, has to be published in the paper, right? Yes. Okay. And basically, you're just authorizing her to take care of it. So, yeah. Um, okay. So she'll track to make sure we're actually uh, complying with federal notice well, requirements. Well, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I mean, that's a hell of a lot of reading if we have to read the whole thing. If we just go by the cheapest one, that's going to be easy. Okay. So I just need a motion from you guys to authorize me to put the public notice regarding Title VI compliance. I'll make a motion that we authorize you to place the public notice okay. for a transportation program. Exactly. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Okay. The next item is the transportation program driver handbook. Um, you guys reviewed that last time and I've gone through it with our attorney and um, we did strike the language regarding uh, weapons and ammunition. Um, and children 12 and under cannot ride alone um, and ages 13 to 17 need parental consent she indicated that that would be a board decision so that's for you guys to decide if we leave that language in or if you want to change that that's consistent with how Sherman County does their program there's no legal concerns one way or the other it's just a policy yeah. call on your part <clears throat> I, I think that that's fine I uh, think it's fine too I, I was going to say you could even raise it up to 14 the way the kids act these days. <laughs> but yeah, that's fine. Okay. And um, Nicole will be drafting a release for a waiver for not wearing seat belts and also for the scooters and wheelchairs weighing over 650 okay. pounds. Those were the only concerns expressed last time. So. And we, we have to remove the weapons ammunition on board sign? 
Really? That was removed. Really? Why is that? Well, the way um, state law is right now when it comes to weapons in government buildings, mm -hmm. it is very permissive. Okay. Very permissive. Me I mean, someone could if carry weapons in here and there's nothing we can do about it. Okay. If Kansas ever changes the law, we'll revisit the policy. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. It just seems a little... <laughs> anyway, okay. So I need you guys to adopt that, and there's a resolution as well. Because, and to clarify that, I mean, it is possible to limit firearms, but we would have to have a really intense security policy in place that applied to all of our governmental buildings and facilities that I, w I don't think we have the money or resources to do to be able to be exempt from that requirement. Yeah, you'd have to have a, a magnetic area. You'd have to have a holding area which would lock doors, or you'd have to post an officer there during duty hours. Mm -hmm. We okay. don't have that kind of money. That okay. Uh, I'll make a motion to approve resolution number 16-26, Driver Information Handbook, Cheyenne County Public Transportation Program. Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. And then the rider handbook is the exact same. We've modified the language to be consistent with the driver handbook. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Same concerns were addressed, um, so we just need a motion to adopt that. <clears throat> I'll make a motion to approve resolution number 16-27. Rider Information Handbook, Cheyenne County Public Transportation Program. Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, and lastly, um, you guys authorized me to run ads to hire some part-time drivers. Yes. I've received four applicants. Okay. Um, I don't know if you want to talk their names through in public meetings. That would probably be an executive session, correct, Nicole? To discuss the names the of the applicants. For the names of the applicants, I, are there, is there going to be any in-depth discussion right now? Um, well, just, we have to run the ad, but will we run it for two we're, weeks? We have she's already. Got, yeah. yeah, she's got some people. Yeah. Um, KDOT requires a physical, right? Um, and it can take two to three weeks for it to get scheduled for that physical. They the clinic offers it for eighty-five dollars, and the Unger oh. Chiropractic offers it for one hundred and twenty-five dollars. Um, Obviously, the hospitals or the clinic is less expensive, so I'd be inclined to go there. All of that is budgeted in the transportation budget, and we get reimbursed eighty percent of that expense. I never heard of it. Um, we also require drug testing before we can actually make an official offer, mm -hmm. um, and again, that can take a couple weeks to complete. And the clinchers, we require KDOT safety training before we can actually move a transportation vehicle with people loaded. I have a class scheduled here locally so we can avoid travel expenses mm -hmm. for November 17th. So ideally, if we could have them make our selections and have everybody hired and passed their screenings um, before that 17th date, then we could hire them, have them attend the training sessions. Mm -hmm. So um, so the four, the four people that I've received applications from are Brenda Nelson, and that's um, Pastor Randy Nelson's wife, not the other Brenda Nelson. Okay. She has a lot of experience mm -hmm. driving buses. She actually has at least 15 years of experience. Yep. Um, Willie Martinez from Bird City, mm -hmm. and he drives the ambulance currently for um, EMS, and he also helps with the fire department, so he has some experience. Stephen Lister, he is he has moved here from out of town over the last couple years. He's been very involved in the History Museum. So he's active in the community. Um, okay. His experience isn't directly related to transportation, but he has a nice background. Okay. Um, and then Robin Burr has also um, asked to be considered as just a substitute. She didn't want to have it be a regular job, but she'd be willing to cover lunch hours or if somebody calls in sick or if we need a little coverage on odd times. Okay. Um, I don't have a problem with any of them. And uh, if we need to go ahead and get these DOT physicals as a drug testing, and we're going to have two weeks, two to three weeks. Uh, doesn't our current 
KWORKS program cover the physicals for KDOT? Mm, I Simpson. Carol, did you have anything else? No, nope, that's okay. it. Except for while I'm here, so that I can leave. Um, Amanda was here. We were going to ask for um, if I could transfer eight hours of my sick leave to Doug because with his daughter being in that wreck last oh, week, yeah. and he's a new, fairly new employee, he's exhausted his sick and personal okay. leave, We've and he's going to at least have to go up one more day so he okay. can bring her home. I don't have. I have no problem with that. I okay. don't think we need to make a, a motion on it because I think it's a human resource procedure. Well, according to the existing policy handbook, it can be done at the commissioner's discretion. So you guys would have to okay. authorize that. Go ahead. I'll I'll make a motion that we yeah, okay. accept the transfer yeah. of the eight was hours. it sick eight time? Sick time. Yeah, eight hours. Eight hours sick. sick time. From Carol's to from Carol Soper to Doug Soper. Thank you for doing that. Okay. No, sir. All those in favor, signify by saying aye, aye. Aye. Okay. okay. Call a quick break. Thank you. Thank yep. You. Thank you.